Right now, we are in the middle of an energy transition. This raises questions. What should we do? Switch to all electric? Look to new energy carriers such as hydrogen gas? Or stick to natural gas after all? More than one solution can lead to sustainability by using a range of energy carriers such as electricity, gaseous fuels and heat networks we can create realistic, affordable solutions. If we take the gaseous route, we can distinguish between natural gas, biogas, synthetic gas and hydrogen gas. The years ahead will be characterised by a switch from fossil fuels to sustainable energy sources and carriers. One of these is hydrogen gas, a very promising energy carrier. Hydrogen gas is not a source of energy like natural gas, wind and solar but rather a carrier of energy. This means that we can use it to produce energy. We can derive energy from it. Hydrogen gas already has a lot of applications. Each year, industry produces thousands of tonnes of hydrogen gas by splitting natural gas, which releases CO2. These emissions can be mitigated through the use of carbon capture and storage. Another way of creating hydrogen gas, one that can be completely sustainable, is electrolysis. This involves splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen gas. This takes a lot of electricity, but if we use sustainably generated solar and wind energy, no CO2 is released, making hydrogen an interesting alternative to fossil fuels. Hydrogen gas is not new, but it does offer a lot of new opportunities. Hydrogen gas can be extremely useful when it comes to heating and providing hot water in homes, particularly in existing buildings. One advantage is that, with a few modifications, we can make the existing natural gas network suitable for the distribution of hydrogen. Logical applications for this would be homes with a high temperature heating system and poorly insulated homes that are less suitable for an all-electric solution, or which, owing to their location, cannot be easily connected to a heat network. Hydrogen gas as an energy carrier offers many opportunities, and more and more research is being done into this. Baxi Heating's parent company, BDR Thermia Group, developed the first hydrogen boiler in the world, and the first projects are promising. In the years ahead, we will therefore see hydrogen gas increasingly being applied in pilots and special hydrogen neighbourhoods. Hydrogen gas is very promising, but there are issues to be addressed. The production of hydrogen needs to increase significantly, and some modifications will need to be made to our gas network. We will also need different central heating boilers before we can heat our homes using hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is very easy to store, easy to transport, and, if produced with sustainable energy, leads to zero CO2 emissions. We can benefit from hydrogen gas in the short term by mixing this in the natural gas network. Most of today's central heating boilers are suitable for this. The first successful tests have now been completed and show a positive effect on CO2 emissions. We don't believe in one single solution. Baxi Heating believes that our energy needs should be met by a mix made up of a range of energy carriers. Electricity, gaseous fuels and heat networks can all contribute towards sustainable energy and the reduction of CO2 emissions.